Before the Seventh-day Adventist Church had a name, there was a publishing house, and that was the Review and Herald. Today, the mission of the Review and Herald Publishing Association is the same as it was when James White took his carpet bag full of pamphlets to the post office to mail them. Let's take a look at the work of making the books and periodicals here at the Review. It's become more than a one-man or woman job. There's something lasting about a book, something you can hold, treasure, and underline. We publish about 165,000 devotional books every year from preschool through adult, and that represents a ratio of about one in every five North American Adventists enjoying these devotional books. Every manuscript is immensely important because of the great amount of effort and care that the writer has put into it. When an author's manuscript is approved for publication, it is first edited, then copy edited, back to the author for final review, then it's ready for design. Once the project design is ready to print, we turn the electronic file into a proof. Once approved, it's onto the plate maker. While this is the final product, it takes four colors to get this look. There's a plate for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. A laser burns the plate, and it's off to the presses. Every month, more than 150,000 pounds of paper comes to the Review and Herald by this railhead. That's more than four tractor trailer loads. Let's go inside and see what happens to it when it gets here. Once we receive rolls of paper, we store them here in our warehouse. More than 1,000 rolls, like this one, are used to produce the Adventist Review and World every year. Let's head into the web press room. I'm going to have to shout a little bit because it's fairly loud in here. Let's take a quick tour of our N300 Harris Press, starting back here at the Pacer Unit and working right up to the end of the press, where there's the delivered product. We're standing back here in the Pacer spot where the papers actually sit through the press from this shaft through five different color units. When this roll completes, it will slide through and the upper roll takes over from there. We're now at the plate unit. From the roll stand, back where the paper comes along, we come to the colored plate unit. You remember the plate maker. Here's where each plate fits. Black, cyan, magenta, and we're here at the yellow unit. Ink is being pumped from here through the pipes to the press. Once each color is applied, the paper goes into the oven then around four drums, which is called the chiller. Here's the control hub for the entire press. The operators work on getting the correct colors on our color register system. There's a camera that takes pictures of the web itself, as indicated on the color board, sends those values back to the printing units, and turn the ink keys up or down to match the color proof on the board. Here we're running Adventist World. The paper goes up into the stacker on each card stack, and from here, it goes right over to the bindery. Before we head into the bindery, there's a few things I want to show you. Operating this press at perfect quality is no easy task. Paper, ink, plates, folders, staplers, and binders all have to line up just perfectly, and every job requires a little something different. When things do go wrong, Plant Services answers the call. Review and Herald Publishing Association recycles paper and our oxidizer cleans the air from the presses above and beyond EPA standards, doing our part for the environment. Here in the bindery, a lot of things happen to a magazine like the Adventist Review. Multiple pages are compiled and stapled. Here, the periodicals are cut, hopefully a bit cleaner than that, then stacked for mailing, and by the time you get them, they're looking good. Out of the bindery, this inkjet printer will spray on the address. Then it's on its way to your home, your church, or your local Adventist book center. Now you've seen the process from hot off the press to your door. The Review and Herald Publishing Association is committed to growing the publishing ministry in the mission field of the world. We've committed precious resources to expand our web press. This expansion is only possible because of your generous gifts to the Review and Herald Publishing Association. You see, when you support Review and Herald Publishing Association, you support missions across the globe people receive the written word that is printed right here. Please continue to support Review and Herald Publishing Association as we grow for God. Thanks for joining us for this behind the scenes look at Review and Herald Publishing Association. We're working with you to spread the word yesterday, today, and tomorrow.